Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. I've got my crock pot out. I've got a delicious roast that I'm going to sear to lock in some delicious flavors, which are going to be stroganoff. Okay, guys, you know I am bringing a lot of crock pot dishes out, so check them out down below in my description box. In the meantime, grab you a roast, some delicious stroganoff flavors, your crock pot, and let's just put this all together. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is sear our meat. When you sear a roast before you put it into the crock pot, it gives it such a delicious flavor. It locks in the juices and gives it a nice color also. So this is an optional step. So if you don't wanna do this step here, then you can just put the roast into your crock pot. Okay, so in a large skillet, we're gonna go ahead and turn our burner on to a medium high heat. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of some oil. We want to get the oil really hot. That was what's going to give the sear to the meat here. Now I've got a nice two and a half pound chuck roast here. And what I'm going to do, salt it. I'm going to salt the top part here. And then I'm going to add some pepper. That's all the seasonings you're going to need for this right now because everything else is going to come in the stroganoff. All right. Now I'm only doing the top part right now because I'm going to flip this over and then while it's in here searing, I'm going to season the other side. Now once you lay it in here, leave it for about five to six minutes to really sear in the flavor and give it that nice color. So we're going to go ahead now and season this side here. Oh, you see that color? Look at that. Flavor. Okay, what I'm going to do is allow it to cook four more minutes on the back side and then I'm just going to rotate it around the sides a little bit and lock in the color and the sear on that side, on the sides also. Alright, we're going to start off with one can of cream of mushroom soup. Now this is 10 ounces. And just put that into the bottom of your crock pot. We're gonna add two cans of beef broth, so we got 20 ounces. So I'm just gonna pour it in this can here to get some of that mushroom out. Oh yeah, all the flavors we love in that stroganoff. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. All right, we got half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm gonna put in about half a teaspoon of some paprika. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard, like half a teaspoon. Now you can use regular mustard, y'all, it'll give it a nice little zing to it. Or you can do like Dijon mustard, stone ground mustard, whatever you want. There we go. All right, I'm gonna give this a mix. It smells good in there. Using a whisk will really help break up the cream of mushroom soup. Now, if you don't want the cream of mushroom soup, you can put cream of celery soup in here. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. So delicious. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I've got one onion that I've chopped up. I'm gonna put that in. Just kind of give that a mix. All right, we're gonna place our roast in. Mmm. Just kind of submerge it in there. Submerge it good, because we want that liquid to cook all through that meat and flavor it really good. Okay, now if you want to add regular mushrooms, you can certainly do that. 
Okay, we're going to place the lid on. Now I'm going to cook this on low for 8 to 10 hours. It all depends on how big your roast is and how thick your roast is, okay? So you want to check it around the 8 hour mark and see how tender your roast is. You want it to be very fork tender for this dish here. You can also cook it on high between about 6 hours. Okay guys, I'll be back. Okay, so our roast is very tender, very fork tender. Look at that, it is falling all apart. What I'm gonna do is take the roast out, shred it up, and then I've got a few ingredients I'm gonna add to the gravy in here, and we're gonna add the roast back. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, I've taken the roast out. Now what I'm gonna do is add four ounces of cream cheese. Now I just put it into pieces here so it'll melt faster. Okay, what we're gonna do now is add four to six ounces of sour cream. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add some Worcestershire, about a teaspoon or so. Got some parsley. Got a couple tablespoons. All right, I'm gonna use a whisk to kind of blend the cream cheese and the sour cream into the sauce. Oh, look at that creamy goodness here. Now I have my crock pot on a low right now just to kind of keep it heating up here. Well, give it a taste for seasonings. That is so delicious. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is I have some noodles here. Now this is 12 ounces and I've already pre-cooked them. All I did was boil them for the directions on the back of the package here. So I'm gonna add that. Okay, so I've got the roast all shredded here. We're gonna go ahead now and add that into our crock pot. We're going to mix this all together. I'm going to cook this for 10 more minutes. Okay, look at the creaminess. Mm. What a comforting dish to make on the weekend or during the week. Let your roast cook low and slow all day with those delicious flavors from stroganoff. Mmm, creamy, a little bit of cheesy flavor in there with that cream cheese. Wow, this one was amazing. Okay guys, I will see you on the next episode.